Hello, my name is Ben Judd. I'm in international business for uh, Capcom. And today, the game I'd like to show you is Resident Evil 4. It's a hot one, so let's play a little uh, Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil. All right, now take a look. Resident Evil 4's main character is Leon. Uh, Leon comes back from Resident Evil 2 uh, in this series. And what makes this game so unique, as you can see here, is the camera is totally different than any other Resident Evil. It has been recreated from the ground up. You have the bullet display over here. The, uh, you have the, uh, what do you call it, the wide screen uh, with the uh, bars on the top and bottom. This is all something very new uh, we've never tried before in the series. When Leon runs like this, you can see up to his knees. However, when he aims, it closes in on his uh, torso and his head and his arms only. Um, it works really, really well. It's kind of like a pseudo first-person perspective you're showing. Now, Leon wanders into this uh, deserted cabin, as I'm showing you right now. He's actually come to a, an Eastern European village looking for the president's daughter who has been kidnapped. Um, Leon has since uh, the, the incident at R Raccoon City, he has joined uh, the special forces. And uh, his first assignment, as I stated before, is to rescue the president's daughter. Now, I should say that Umbrella has nothing to do with the story at all. If you buy the game right at the beginning, you'll find out what happened to Umbrella. It's been six years since the incident in Raccoon City. And part of the mystery of this game is finding out what these new enemies are. I can say that they are not zombies. They look like normal people, maybe slightly uh, deformed. And here he comes. Right there, shot him in the shoulder. Miss. Uh-oh, see, he ducks. They're smart. What I just showed you was the action feature. If you get a headshot on the enemy, you can run up to them and press the A button and you'll kick them. This is something new to the Resident Evil series as well. One thing I know uh, the producers were worried about was they were worried that you were gonna get probably a lot of backlash from not having Umbrella in it. Um, and a lot of backlash from not uh, having zombies in it especially. As you can see, the A button right here on the screen is highlighted A, check. That's known as the action button. And Leon can do a lot of different actions in this game. I'm gonna show you one right now, after I pick up the uh, typical bullets that you find in every Resident Evil. Here's the window, press A to jump out. Bam! Leon's gotten a lot more flexible than the previous Resident Evils. Now, what makes these crazed villagers so unique, I guess they're not people, they're not zombies. Like I said, you'll find out about that later is that they're smart. Previous Resident Evil uh, mainstay enemies were the zombies. And the producer felt they were boring. They're slow, they're easy to dodge. You just sit there and pick them off. One, two, three, four, they're dead. What's fun in that? Um, oh, that hurts. That's gotta hurt. What makes the game uh, so cool is that these enemies, they're smart, they'll stalk you. They'll use different weapons. If you try and hide in a house, and you bar the door, they will try to uh, actually get in through the, the roof or through like the second floor window by using a ladder. As you can see, they even set up traps. If I were to run through this, I would get smashed. So I'm going to, a little too close, ouch. Sorry, Leon, he's about dead. We're probably gonna have to restart soon. But uh, as you can see, the game itself is very difficult. Headshot, bam, kick, I love that kick. A lot of the game takes place in the, this uh, town in the surrounding area, but uh, you also go into a castle and there's kind of like a cult that you fight against. Depending on where you shoot the enemies, they react different. As you can see, some of them are very quick. I'm hurting, so I'm not gonna mess around with them. I'm gonna run past them. As you can see, the graphics are amazing. This engine has been totally created from the ground up. Not good, not good. There we go. And so, uh, you got some really, really cool effects going on here. 
Here's also an example of the uh, sub screen. There's going to be no, sorry, no more boxes uh, in the game, but you are going to have a bigger inventory. A lot of people used to complain about that. I'm going to use your typical first aid spray here and heal myself up because I was hurting pretty bad. Here we go. Now we're getting to the mainstay of the uh, village. Open. Now it's, uh, it's really quite cool what they've done here. Halfway through the game, when you get to the city part, I'm sorry, when you get to the castle part, you're going to actually find the president's daughter, Ashley. Here's another one of the action uh, commands going on. You look. You see the villagers right now, they're just living life doing their typical daily activities. I'm gonna zoom in and see, oh wow, they've caught uh, some police officers and they're burning them at the stake. Man, these guys are relentless. Um, what makes it so cool <clears throat> is that when you find Ashley, you have to rescue her, and you actually guide her around through the various areas. A, to jump over, bam, there you go. That action button being used again. Now the villagers are chasing after me. They know I'm in here. They're issuing orders. They're gonna try and surround me. No zombie would have done this before. So this brings a certain amount of uh, fear and tenseness that was never in the series before. And of course, there's Mr. Chainsaw. Look, they're using a ladder to get in. Son of a, my words exactly. Here we go, I'm gonna go upstairs and try and get them off that ladder. Ooh, double barrel shotgun, hand on the pump. We like this. And look what I can do with the A button. Knock down ladder. Oh, you're not getting up that way, suckers. I love that. I love the fact that there's so many different things you can do with the A button here. And they duck. They don't want to get shot in the head. Shoot different weapons out of their hands as well. Reload, hurry up, Leon. Ow, that's gotta hurt. I'm gonna get out of here. Now I'm on the roof, so there's a lot of different areas to go. Knock down the ladder. I gotta find a way to get off the roof now before they take me out. There we go. Um, the graphics engine, like I said, it's built from the ground up. It really shows. Um, you're going to find some really, really impressive graphics here. I'm going to be mean and shoot the cow. Dump cow. Uh, I have heard that there are grenades, rocket launchers, typical weapons you may find around in the area. Uh-oh. Show you what this guy means. Oh, no. Oh, my. I am sorry, Leon. Leon's toast. That's about all I have for the game uh, to show you right now. Like I said, the Ashley part where you're guiding her around trying to protect her, that is very cool because she's gonna duck when you aim at her, but it takes a while so you have to think about that. The monsters will try and carry her away as well. Um, so you have to try and chase after them, shoot the monster and then it'll drop her. You have to help her down from high places and give her a lift up in other places. She really is just your typical 20 year old girl with an attitude. She doesn't always listen to Leon, so he's got to chase after her for a lot of the game. But it's just a whole new element, that protecting somebody, the old valiant hero, hero role that Leon gets to play, that makes the game also very, very cool. So look for this game sometime late 2004. Um, it's a great game. Reinvented the series. Old fans should love it. And we hope that people that didn't like it before will give it a shot now because it really is a cool, cool game.